Thank you for choosing to view this presentation on the recently released State Emphasis Program, or SEP, from Michigan OSHA regarding the safety and health of workers at bars, restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, convenience stores, and other retail establishments during the COVID-19 pandemic. My name is Audrey Karlstrom, and I'm an industrial hygienist with MIOSHA's Consultation, Education, and Training Division. The purpose of this presentation is to introduce you to the new enforcement SEP, explain what it is, and also provide some helpful resources to best protect retail employees. This presentation will cover the following topics. What is a state emphasis program? The details of the SEP for bars, restaurants, gas station, grocery stores, and other retail. The inspection items for this SEP and the focus of the inspection. Probably most importantly, how you can prepare for this SEP. And finally, some resources that you can use to help develop your MIOSHA and COVID-19 programs. Within MIOSHA's inspection system, employers with certain North American Industrial Classification System codes, also known as NAICS codes, can be targeted by the MIOSHA Strategic Plan. Randomly selected establishments with those NAICS codes can then be identified for inspection. Emphasis for these inspections is placed on selecting NAICS codes for establishments with high injury, illness, and fatality rates. The system is augmented with special programs such as national or state emphasis programs known as NEPs or SEPs. These focus on a specific issue or concern that is deemed to be affecting employee safety and health at a higher rate in the state of Michigan based on state specific data. To ensure retail workers who have frequent interaction with coworkers and customers that may be carriers of the SARS-CoV-2 virus are being adequately protected while at work, MIOSHA has launched a new state emphasis program for bars, restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, convenience stores, and other retail establishments. This SEP enforces the current governor's executive orders existing MIOSHA standards, as well as current CDC and OSHA guidelines for COVID-19. Work by its nature brings people out of their homes and increases the chances of interacting with people that may be carrying the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Workers that interact and serve customers from the general public, like retail workers, have an elevated risk of infection due to the large number of people they are in contact with at work. This SEP will increase MIOSHA's presence at grocery stores and other retail establishments to ensure workers are protected. So, what will this new SEP do? This SEP will increase MIOSHA's presence in businesses that serve the general public. This means MIOSHA will be completing more inspections at bars, restaurants, gas stations, convenience stores, grocery stores, and other retail establishments focusing on COVID-19 protective measures. MIOSHA's enforcement divisions will be creating a targeted list of establishments in these categories from a public database of Michigan businesses. From this targeted list, establishments will be selected for on-site inspections. Who will conduct these inspections and what will they focus on? Investigations under this SEP will be conducted by an industrial hygienist, an IH, or by a safety officer from MIOSHA's enforcement divisions. The focus of the inspection will be on the establishment's COVID-19 preparedness and response plan. Despite the potential to come across COVID-19 hazards affecting customers and the general public, the IH or safety officer will focus their inspection on worker health issues. During the inspection, the MIOSHA IH or safety officer will evaluate the employer's COVID-19 preparedness and response plan. They will also be evaluating the employer's adherence to the governor's executive orders for COVID-19, OSHA guidance on preparing workplaces for COVID-19, and CDC guidance for COVID-19. The inspector will also be evaluating the employer's compliance with existing MIOSHA standards. Some of the requirements of the governor's executive orders and guidance from the CDC and OSHA are applicable to all businesses and employers, but some of the requirements are industry specific. The MIOSHA IH or safety officer will select the guidance that is appropriate to the industry being evaluated. 
If an investigation determines that there are deficiencies in the employer's COVID-19 preparedness and response plan, citations will be issued for violations of the General Duty Clause of the Michigan Occupational Safety and Health Act and or any other applicable MIOSHA standards. For your information, the General Duty Clause states that an employer shall furnish each employee a place of employment that is free from recognized hazards that are causing or likely to cause death or serious physical harm to the employee. As an employer, it is important that you know how to be prepared for this SEP and how to best protect your employees from SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19. The governor's executive orders outline requirements for all businesses that require employees to leave their home or place of residence for work. This is a brief summary of requirements for all businesses in this executive order. There are many requirements for COVID-19 given by the executive orders, including but not limited to those listed on this slide. These requirements are from Executive Order 2020-161, signed July 29th. These executive orders are regularly updated, so please go to the Michigan Coronavirus website to find the most current information. Additionally, there are requirements for specific industries, including bars and restaurants, retail, and food selling establishments. MIOSHA has created COVID-19 Workplace Safety Guidance for Employers. These industry-specific guidelines outline the requirements set forth by the governor's executive orders. You can see we have specific guidance for retail as well as restaurants and bars. MIOSHA has also developed a sample COVID-19 preparedness and response plan that you can download and modify for your facility. These resources can be found both on the LEO homepage, michigan.gov LEO, and the MIOSHA homepage, michigan.gov slash MIOSHA. There are a number of executive orders that affect restaurants, bars, gas stations, convenience stores, grocery stores, and other retail businesses. Here is a list of the current executive orders and relevant sections for these businesses. Executive Order 2020-161 lists the requirements for all businesses that require their employees to leave their homes for work. Section 6 gives additional requirements for retail stores and Section 8 gives additional requirements for restaurants and bars. Executive Order 2020-149 provides additional strategies to reduce COVID-19 exposures for employees and customers at food selling establishments and pharmacies. This executive order defines food selling establishments as grocery stores, convenience stores, restaurants that sell groceries or food available for takeout, and any other business that sells food. Executive Order 2020-160 amends previous executive orders about the safe start process in Michigan. There are some restrictions in this executive order for bars and food selling establishments when more than 70% of their gross receipts are from sales of alcoholic beverages. Please see Section 5 of this executive order for the specific details. Executive Order 2020-153 requires the public to wear a face covering when they leave their homes with some exceptions. Section 3 identifies the responsibilities of businesses that are open to the general public. These executive orders are regularly updated and being replaced as the COVID-19 pandemic response develops. This list is current as of July 31st, but please note that these executive orders may change or be updated in the future. Please visit the Michigan Coronavirus website and MIOSHA homepage for the most current resources for COVID-19. In addition to the resources for the governor's executive orders, there are a few more options to help you build your COVID-19 and MIOSHA programs. OSHA has published guidance on preparing workplaces for COVID-19 and has many COVID-19 resources on their webpage, OSHA.gov slash COVID-19. OSHA has also published short fact sheets for retail workers and restaurants offering takeout or curbside pickup. The CDC has guidance for businesses that include guidance to reduce the spread of COVID-19, how to maintain a healthy workplace, disinfection procedures, what to do if an employee is sick, 
communication resources, and other tools to protect people from SARS-CoV-2. The CDC also has specific considerations for bars and restaurants and information for grocery and food retail workers. Additional guidance can also be found at backtoworksafely.org. The AIHA has developed short guides for many industries, including bars, retail establishments, and restaurants. MIOSHA has published an interim enforcement plan for COVID-19. This document establishes policies and procedures for handling fatalities, referrals, and complaints alleging hazards to SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19. This publication can be found through a link on the MIOSHA homepage. OSHA has also published a number of enforcement memos related to COVID-19 on their website. The three listed here apply to all businesses, but there are more COVID-19 memos available on their website. The MIOSHA website, michigan.gov slash MIOSHA, has a complete list of all existing MIOSHA regulations, agency instructions, and has sample written programs that you can download. Thank you for viewing this presentation. If you have any questions about the COVID-19 SEP for Retail, or would like to get more information about the resources and references in this presentation, the MIOSHA Consultation Education and Training Division, or SET Division, has consultants available to provide employees with assistance in implementing long-term safety and health solutions. For free statewide assistance, you can call MIOSHA SET at 517-284-7720 or visit our website. Thank you.